All right, man, so I know my million subscribers missed me. Finally making my comeback because this is clearly a way better camera. Anyways, I recorded an upper body workout. Um, I'm gonna do a voice over, over it. Let me know how you like it, try it out. And comment below if you did like it and what else you wanna see. So obviously you gotta like, comment, subscribe because from my 1 million subscribers, I'm trying to get to my 2 million so that I'm gonna do a special, special gift to my 2 million subscribers coming in like what, like next week or something like that? So come on, bring the, bring the, uh, the subscription count up. All right, so as you can see here, I'm about to do some incline bench press. This was working my way down in weight already. So basically what you got to do during this exercise is you want to keep your chest up, make that the highest point of your body. Right now I'm bulking, so my stomach may be my highest point of the body. Anyways, um, as you see, there's zero momentum. I'm not using much leg drive. I'm not bouncing the weight. Obviously, it can go much heavier if you bounce the weight. You're just trying to work the chest. So make that your focus. This is zero momentum. Um, yep, struggling right there a little bit. But now we're on to the next exercise. So I was, I was switching from chest, one chest exercise, then to one back exercise, etc. Same thing here. What we're doing is... Basically, there's no momentum. I'm not swinging the weight. I'm not jerking the weight. <laughs> None of those things. None of those things are going on, as you can tell. You want to squeeze <clears throat> your muscle at the bottom of the rep. Um, that's for any exercise um, at the contraction point. Uh, and then the eccentric, you want to slowly do the eccentric so all the muscle fibers break down. And right here... We moved on to some flat bench press or a slight decline. So same thing here. You want to go super slow on the way down. Control. Well, it's not even the fact that you want to go super slow on the way down. You want to contract the muscle at the top and then control the weight at all times throughout the motion. That's what you want to do. That goes for any exercise. But, of course, there's times where you want to switch it up. You view my other videos, I'm lifting a lot more weight, but I'm lifting it completely differently. Today is just a full upper body workout. You know when you're in the gym and you make that eye contact uh -oh. with somebody out of nowhere, you about to do your workout, and then boom, they just staring at you. I really don't know what I was saying yeah. there, man. Sometimes you're do in the gym again, you get that gym retardation. Yo, do that one more time. And you just start talking. Alright, so now we're on my second back movement. So basically, if you're, an, if you're a beginner or a, a intermediate, you should probably just do two chest exercises and two back exercises, then move on to shoulders and arms. But if you're more advanced, you probably do three. So I did three exercises for chest, three for back. Point is the exercise, also same thing. As you can tell, I'm controlling the weight at all times, squeezing when I... Bring my elbows back here with this exercise. You want to bring the elbows as far back as you can. You do not want to swing the weight and bring your legs and everything into it. As you see, they're not really moving at all. It's all back. Now I'm finishing up chest with some cable flies. I'm making sure that uh, the camera's picking me up at the end of the day. Jim was getting a little bit more packed. And technically, in the gym, you can't really record, but you know, I gotta, I gotta record for my million subscribers anyway. And next week, once we re reach two million, I might have to switch gyms because I'm just gonna be too popular in this gym, man. I don't know. Same thing. Squeeze the muscles. Slow, slow negatives. Everything you want. You want to control the weight at all times. See, some people, and now this exercise, some people use this exercise for chest. For me, this works my back muscles. This does not work my chest. It's a pullover. People use dumbbell pullovers over the bench to work their upper chest. You, you can do that. I don't, I don't find that effective for myself. 
Um, this is just working your whole lats, stretching it, stretching your full back muscles right here. It's a good, uh, um, you can start off with this exercise or finish with that exercise. Doesn't really matter if you want to pre-exhaust your back, start off with this. If you can't really feel your back when you work out and everything's slow and controlled. Now here, just do one. I I personally just do one shoulder exercise. I don't really focus on shoulders, especially if I'm doing an upper body day. Um, only time I ever focus on shoulders if I'm really doing a what what you uh, science people call a bro split nowadays. So um, that's the only time I actually do a shoulder day. But other than that, if I'm doing something like an upper body day or whatever, like chest, shoulder, triceps, not much going on. Now here we already, I'm only doing one exercise for triceps also. I don't really do much arms either. Especially in an upper body day, you're already tired. There's, you don't have much energy anyway. So right here, same thing. Contract the tricep at the bottom. Slow negative. That's how you really feel the muscle work. And don't worry about the weight. But you do want to get about 10, 10 reps at least. I'd say go a minimum of 8 reps. If you can't get 8, you got to drop the weight. And here, just some little hammer curls, one bicep exercise too, just to finish off the uh, the workout. So I want you guys to try the workout. Let me know how you like it. Um, also, let me know what else you guys want to see. So like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to come out with some new videos coming really soon. And yeah, man. Try this upper body workout out. Duh.